We are an agricultural country down here. We have uh, forest operations that have waste products that can be used for things like this. So in my opinion, there is a, a big potential here, especially if you tie this into farm operations. This can be a significant piece uh, in terms of economic diversification and value-added uh, initiatives for agriculture. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. This week we take you to the Lethbridge Biogas Power Plant. It's an anaerobic digestion facility, one of only three in Alberta, and the biggest of its kind in the province. My name is Stefan Michalski. I'm the Director of Operations here at Lethbridge Biogas Limited Partnership. I came here 12 years ago from Germany. Germany is always the prime example when we talk about these things. As of to date, there's more than 8,000 plants in Germany alone, and they are typically, in a lot of cases, also attached to a farm, um, where we see a lot of opportunity, uh, in, especially in Alberta too, because we have a lot of agricultural operations. So it is a proven technology. It works even in Canadian climate, uh, which we have a lot of uh, uh, skeptics always asking about. And it's, it, it has been around for, for decades in Europe. Essentially, the digesters are giant stomachs that capture the methane from decaying cow manure and organic matter in their dome tops. To feed the digesters, manure is trucked into the facility, but that's not all. They also receive food waste from grocery stores, restaurants, and food processors, which is dumped into a holding tank and then mixed with the cow manure in one of three giant 3.9 million liter digesters. Manure, from a process perspective, is a very valuable uh, input material because it carries the form of bacteria you need, but from an energy perspective, it is actually very low in energy. So if you can balance that out and add um, organics that are higher, per se, in energy content, you can create an ideal mix for this process with actually a higher output that uh, simply manure could deliver. So the things we bring in range from uh, hog and dairy manure, poultry manure, beef manure. Then we come to the uh, agri-food processing side, residues from potato processing, vegetable processing, sludges from hog and poultry processing. We have a program in place with a local hauling company that delivers the uh, organics from supermarkets, what gets thrown out because it's stalled, ate it, doesn't look good, can't be sold. After receiving, Raw materials are pumped into the digesters where the mixture is kept at a constant 39 degrees Celsius using heat waste from the generators. From this point, the process is largely automated. Mikalski and his crew control it from the facility, but they can also control almost everything from a tablet or phone. Biogas produces base load electricity and pairs very well with solar and wind power. The nature of the biological process is that uh, it produces constantly. So behind us here we see these digesters, we see the roofs of these digesters that uh, can only capture and store a little bit of gas. So what that means is we are running 24-7, the engines are running 24-7, the power gets produced 24-7. So we are what is called in the power world base load. We deliver power around the clock. Solar doesn't do a lot at night. Wind doesn't do a lot when the wind doesn't blow. So we are in a little difficult category as far as that is concerned. The methane biogas is fed to twin 1.4 megawatt generators. These produce enough electricity to power 3,000 homes. But selling power is only one part of the plant's business model. They also offer an alternative to landfill dumping, which brings in revenue. Typically, we are cheaper than the landfill, which is an incentive to do it here. Not only because it makes more sense, but uh, you want to create some diversion with an economic incentive. The third piece of the puzzle that is uh, becoming of growing importance is because we are renewable, because we are an emission-free power producer, Alberta has an uh, offset system where these offsets can be traded with the large emitters. Lethbridge Biogas gets revenue from electricity sales, tipping fees, and by selling carbon credits. Mikowski hopes that with Alberta's recently announced carbon tax, 
Biogas will generate more revenue through selling greenhouse gas emission credits. By processing manure from farms, this biogas operation helps farmers avoid runoff and odor issues, and the manure residue is still great fertilizer, but with significantly reduced greenhouse gas emissions. Well, on the farmer level, he uh, has a product now that uh, doesn't stink as much. Um, he has a product now that's better balanced, that has a better nutrient uh, phosphor nitrogen ratio and, and stuff like that. So for him, uh, it is, he, he can deal with it the same way he dealt with the manure before. The way we do it here, uh, at the moment it doesn't cost him anything. So we take the manure and we bring the other product back. So for him, it's uh, almost a no-brainer because he has to do nothing. <laughs> Burning biogas turns methane into carbon dioxide emissions which is great from an environmental standpoint. Methane is 25 times more potent than CO2 as a greenhouse gas. Mikowski sees a big future for biogas in Alberta. Well, we need a place for bioenergy and biogas in particular, a, st a strategic piece in the plan, how this industry uh, will grow. We need some regulatory uh, mechanism. We need some incentives uh, to get there. And for, first and foremost, we need a strategy because what we heard so far is largely targeted again to towards wind and solar. We provide added benefits. We need recognition of those benefits. And we are in the process with a larger group uh, of uh, discussing that with the government so that we get it right and biogas becomes part of the picture. Mikowski says there's room for more than 200 biogas plants in Alberta. Time will tell how many of those become a reality. That's it for a look at the largest biogas plant in Alberta. Learn more by checking out our blog, photo gallery, and podcast at greenenergyfutures.ca. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. Biogas also works well at farm scale. It's a great way to solve environmental problems and diversify business on the farm. Click here to learn more about James Callahan's operation in Lindsay, Ontario.